video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the uh, um, the Echo mount. Um, has the ring, the mount, um, and then this is my ceiling. Um, and included are the um, carriage bolts and the wing nuts. Um, these are the best option for going into a ceiling. Um, if you choose to go into a wall, um, then your best option will be um, uh, the drywall wall anchors um, and get the ones with a number eight screw. Um, there's ones with number six screws. Number eight screws will work really well. Um, and then you can pick up a um, just three uh, 3 sixteenths regular washers. Um, you can just get all those at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, but in the ceiling, the carriage bolts um, are going to work the best. Um, okay, so you just put the ring, put the ring around the echo, and then you don't have to worry about lining anything up right now. Just put that over it. Um, and then you can line the um, ring and the echo, or ring and the mount. Um, there's a locating pin. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's right here. Um, I mean, it'll be pretty noticeable when you're looking at it. So then all you have to do is line up the, uh, there's an outlet on the ring and the mount um, for the cord um, to come out. Uh, if you're going into the ceiling, then this doesn't really matter. But if, if your cord is coming out, then um, you'll have to remember to do this before you clamp it down. Um, and then you can just kind of push the ring in um, while holding the mount, and that'll actually clamp the um, the echo in place. Like if you hold the mount um, just by the top, it, the the echo is not going to fall out. Um, so it already already has a good grip on it. Um, then when you tighten it down, it creates a lot more grip. So just line it up on the three holes. You want to use uh, uh, one size bigger than a, a quarter inch. Um, if, if they have it, then just do a, a 64th bigger. Um, if not, a 32nd bigger is fine. Um, but you don't really want to use quarter inch drill because um, you'll uh, just make the hole, uh, the, especially if you're cutting drywall, um, then your, uh, your bolts are going to rub on it and just kind of pull the drywall away. Okay, so then you want to put uh, washers over the um, bolts on the other side. This is my ceiling. I'm obviously I have somebody holding the mount downstairs up to the ceiling while I get these in. Um, then the wing nuts. Just tighten those down. So, um, with these, you don't really have to worry about tightening it, tightening it too much. Um, I mean, you don't want to, like, be ridiculous. Um, so you can just have the person um, below you tell you um, when it's flush with the ceiling. Um, but, I mean, you, you'll be able to feel it. You, it'll be nice and tight. Um, I mean, you don't want to get a death grip on it and um, rip holes. Rip your uh, nuts to the ceiling. That would that'd be bad. Um, so with that, um, that is mounted, and it is on there pretty well. I mean, it's not it's not gonna fall out. Um, it's not gonna fall. Out. Hey, there we go. Um, I mean, you can shake it around. It's not gonna come on it there. Um, so it's got a pretty good grip and uh, that's pretty much it um, to take it down um, you can loosen uh, back to 
get the echo out, um, what you're going to want to do is hold on to it and then just push the mount itself down um, and that'll pop the mount out of the ring um, else you're not going to be able to pull that out because the, I mean, the tighter the grip is or the, the more you pull on the echo, the tighter the grip is. Um, so then that'll come off. And you can take the ring off. And you're all set. Okay. Thanks.